Hi, we're here with Peter Rinelli from Teledyne Marine Systems, and we're standing next to a craft called the Slocum. Peter, tell us a little bit about um, what we're looking at here. This is a Slocum electric glider. It's an undersea vehicle that is designed for long-term surveillance of the, uh, of the oceans. It operates on a buoyancy engine, which means that we can control the buoyancy of the vehicle so that as it sinks, it glides forward in a sawtooth pattern. At the bottom, it uh, increases its buoyancy and starts to rise again. And that way, you can get vertical sections of the ocean over long distances. Since it has no motor, there's very long presence in the ocean uh, of months or at a time, up to three to four months at a time. Peter, um, when submarines change their depth, they uh, they have water tanks to do that. How do you do that with this thing? Uh, it's it's very similar, but it's an oil-filled bladder in this case. When you're ready for the vehicle to go down, you decrease the buoyancy, you take the oil out, uh, and when you're ready to for it to rise again, then you pump it back in. But you don't lose any oil in the but process. But you never lose any oil. It's all contained inside, and that's it's a, it's a very low energy pump that makes that happen. You say you don't have a, uh, a motor in this thing. How do you propel it? It, it, the propulsion is as it as it fall as it starts to fall really, then the wings here are the are the piece that help it glide forward, and therefore the name of glider. So basically, you're using buoyancy or lack of buoyancy as, as a propulsion mechanism. Exactly, the buoyancy in the ocean, natural buoyancy in the ocean, is the force that drives this both forward and down or up. What was tough to do to come up with a system like that? Oh, well, you're talking about 20 years of research <laughs> to make that happen. Uh, there's a number of things. The, uh, the first is the, what we call the buoyancy engine that makes this move forward. Uh, the second is the controls so that um, you know where the vehicle is, you can, you can manage the mission that's going on. Uh, the third is the communications. Even though this is out for many months at a time, you want to be able to get that information back, so you have to have communications like that. And, you, and during that communications period, you also want to manage, be able to manage the vehicle and monitor the state of the vehicle. So being able to do all that, but at a very low energy rate, is a, is a very difficult problem. How did you come up with the idea of using buoyancy as a propulsion mechanism? Oh, I, I didn't come up with the idea. A great scientist named Doug Webb came up with the idea. I'd have to ask Doug how he did that, but it's a, it's a great idea. I think his motivation, uh, as well as uh, many scientists from his generation, was that one of the problems in oceanography is being able to have enough information about the, the ocean to really understand what the ocean is doing. And the only way you can do that is with the persistent presence in the ocean and that's what the glider gives us. Peter, that's a pretty interesting technology. Thanks for taking us through uh, that. You're welcome. Thank you for asking.